There are these vacuuming robots that currently run around folks' houses, and they actually have to interact with obstacles and figure out where they are. With 3D LiDAR, the robot would accurately map the inside of the house, know where all the obstacles are without having to run into them. LiDAR is a camera or device that allows it to measure distances. It emits a laser and that laser beam impinges on some object in the distance and then our sensors detect the return laser pulse. It's called time of flight. So we know accurately how long uh, light takes to get from point A to point B. And what our cameras do is measure that round trip to accurately project a distance and give that information back to a computer. 3D LiDAR would also be able to look at the scene at various times, detect changes and make sure that if something moves, it could tell how far it's moved and update its own programming to not run into those objects. Our technology allows robots to now see in 3D. These robots will actually have the ability to think for themselves, make decisions about their environment, and then affect that environment in a positive way. So that's a big leap from a 2D or our current situations where everything is programmed in a static environment for the robot. This technology is in its infancy. We have just begun to scratch the surface of what its applications are. Self-driving cars is just one of a number of applications for 3D LiDAR. You can stack cars together, meaning that you can move more cars through an area much faster. And since the cars have the ability to talk to each other, they can move as one. You'll have large convoys of cars moving through an area, and nobody has to guess what the car in front of it's going to do. We're at the forefront of bringing this to a number of applications that will make life on Earth better for everybody.